Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and in today's tower workout, even though we're not set up yet, we will be, um, I'm going to be walking you through a full body intermediate level workout. So if you've not done tower before, or you're new to Pilates, I would definitely recommend checking out some of the beginner tower workouts I have on the channel here. I am working on a balanced body piece of equipment, so for those that are working on a different model at home, I will make those recommended spring settings for each exercise. And for those that are new to the channel, welcome. I have over 25 different equipment exercises and workouts here on all apparatuses, so feel free to check those out. Also, if you are interested in becoming a Pilates instructor or enhancing your own Pilates practice so you can put together your workouts at home, I'm a master trainer and I would love to talk more about how to get started. Also, if you are looking to open up your own Pilates studio, become a business owner, Function Pilates is a groundbreaking franchise registered in over 30 states and I'm happy to provide that information if that is something you would align with. So I'm going to link everything in that description box below, including some recommended workouts for you. But for those that are ready to get started, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and begin by setting up our tower before the workout. I have long purple heavy springs on if you're using a balanced body piece of equipment with the loops already attached. So find your heavy long springs and attach them at the very top of the eyelets. I also have a blue, a half spring, attached to the top of the tower. So have that handy. And then we're gonna set ourselves up for footwork. So grabbing the safety strap and pulling that through our push through bar. I'm setting myself up with one and a half springs, which is one red and one blue spring. So finding that medium to heavy or a comfortable weight that you like for footwork on the tower and setting yourself up for that. And then once you've done that, have also handy your long yellow arm or leg springs, I should say, with the handles connected. So it's gonna be more of a light to medium weight, again, if you're using a different model. And then lying down on your back and just getting comfortable in this hook line position. Knees are bent, feet are flat arms are stretched long beside you. Taking that inhale, and then we'll connect our hands to our ribs and allow that breath, that taking that long inhale through our nose, letting it go deep past our chest and into our ribs, expanding our fingers away from one another. Taking the exhalation out through your mouth and feeling your ribs knitting back together. Doing that a few times here just to get comfortable, just to Reset your brain, reset your body. And then we will slowly roll into our pelvic curls. So thinking about imprinting your spine into the mat as you rock your pelvis back and then rocking it gently forward to create an arch. We're simply just loosening up that low back, creating some articulation before we head into our pelvic curls. When you're ready, go ahead and peel your spine up, taking a breath at the top and then allow that exhale to help guide your spine all the way back down. Relax your toes, keeping your feet connected to the mat. Palms are open, pressing firmly into the mat. And it's encouraging your chest to open here nice and wide. Shoulders away from those ears, facial muscles are relaxed. Think of squeezing with your glutes as you peel your spine up, using your abdominals as you lower the body down. Exhale to rock back, navel to spine, peel it up. Take an inhale at the top. Exhale to roll your spine down, visualizing a string of pearls. From here, connecting your hands and interlacing them behind your neck. Take an inhale to prepare and exhale to flex up lower back down. As you flex, eyesight towards the belly button. Chin will be close to the chest to ensure proper neck alignment. Nice and easy, taking an exhale, connecting those ribs. Inhale to release. Exhale, flex up and inhale to release. Beautiful. 
From here, we're gonna add on, so flex your spine, reach your arms, your hands behind your thighs, pull yourself up a little higher, and as you maintain that height, lower the body back down. Exhale to curl, reach those hands around the thighs, lift up a little higher, maintain, and then release the body. Beautiful. It's just enough to create extra heat in that body, extra connection in your transverse abdominis. It's our deepest ab stabilizer. Reach it around, lift, interlace those hands, and releasing. Beautiful job here, guys. Staying connected and hold. Good. Let's curl it back up, reach it around, lift, interlace those hands, and releasing. Exhale to curl. You're doing great. Interlace those hands. Good, hold for pulses, little pulses, not bouncy, not using momentum. And then take it a nice deep exhale as you slowly release down. Perfect. Good, from here, grab a hold of the tower, stabilize your body as you take it to tabletop. Shoulder blades are down and connected. Allow your legs to sweep to the left, exhale, return through center. Inhale, legs sweep to the right. Exhale, connect those ribs, facilitating the movement with your obliques. Beautiful. Taking that slowly and with lots of control, shoulder blades are glued and connected to the mat. And you're creating this heaviness with your legs. Take it to the right and another Exhale to return and come back up. Good. All right, so we're warmed up. We're gonna take it into footwork here, sliding your body down. And I have a set up in this position just so it's a little bit more gentle, a little bit more friendlier to our hamstrings, especially if you have tight hamstrings. So we're heels on, parallel, hip distance apart. Inhale to bend, exhale to push up. Our goal is to keep the tailbone down and connected to the mat. So if you feel like your hips or your butt is lifting off the mat, you're bending the knees too far. Really take note of what that feels like. So if you don't bend all the way, do you feel the back of your legs working more? Your hamstrings, your glutes. We're working the entire backside of our legs here. Abs are in. Beautiful, tiny pulses if you can, coming halfway down, pushing through the back of the legs there, and then press up. Let's transfer to our toes. We're still parallel hip distance apart. Inhale to bend and exhale, press up. Trying to maintain that nice long line through our ankle, keeping all of your toes connected to the foot bar, and then really allowing equal weight distribution through each of your toes here. And it's great, I love the tower, I love the Cadillac because you get to see your feet. So notice, are all of your toes actually connecting to the bar? Where are some weaknesses that are occurring in your body? Little pulses there, halfway. Tiny pulses, ribs are connected, deep exhale on your last one, about 10 of these, perfect. Let's go into our Pilates V, heels together, toes apart, watch out for that. Uh, safety strap there, so make sure it's behind your heels. And think of squeezing through those inner thighs. Again, tailbone is nice and connected, super heavy to the mat. Knees will widen as wide as your shoulders and focus on those inner thighs wrapping together. Beautiful. Think Kegel here, lifting from your pelvic floor. Good, halfway down for 10 pulses. You got it. Just minimize the movement, no bounciness, and exhale it up. Take it into that wide second position, so our wide V, heels are on, a slight turned out position here. If you tend to turn out naturally, I would challenge you to stay more parallel here. Good. And press. Inhale to bend, exhale to press. Again, taking inventory of your body how much deeper, how much more connected can you get to the back of your legs, into your glutes? 
Are you maintaining neutral pelvis, neutral spine? Perfect, tiny pulses up and down. You got it, shoulders are away from those ears. Inhaling and exhale. Same wide position, come down to your toes. Push that bar up to come to a nice high heel. And again, we're challenging our ankles. We're strengthening the ankles. Footwork is all about that. Whether you're working on the tower, the Wanda chair, or the reformer, we're all about strengthening the ankles, the knees, and the hips. Yes, there's gonna be a different muscle focus on whichever apparatus you're working on, but our main objective is to strengthen those areas of our body. Finish it with those pulses, find your number. If it's 10, take that breath and exhale it up. Return back to parallel, toes are on, and let's just go into some calf raises. So flexing and pointing. For some, this might be a little bit more challenging just because it really gets right into the hamstrings, really no way of, um, of not feeling it. So, but our goal is to create mobility in our ankles. So where do you feel stiff here? And then take it nice and slow, find those prances or running it out. Again, watching your pelvis so that there's no extra movement, no extra shifting happening in the hips. And then once you've felt like you've done a comfortable number, which I would say anywhere from 10 to 15, slowly go ahead and bend those knees and come down. All right, so lower portion of our body is warmed up. I'm going to keep the blue spring on, which is a half spring, and take away the red, which is a full spring. So it should be more on a light to medium weight right now. We're gonna go into some roll-ups, bottom loaded. So this can already be challenging for some folks. So press your, press your bar up, align your wrists over your shoulders, legs are together, squeeze those inner thighs. Let's come all the way up to the top. Tuck that tailbone, scoop that belly and lower it down. If you're having a challenging time lifting up here, separate your legs a little wider and flex your feet. See if that helps a little bit. But for those that are doing it, and overall, just in general, as we roll up, really focus on shoulders down, ribs are connecting, and aligning that spine down piece by piece. So if you're happy there, continue. Otherwise, take the challenge, tabletop the leg. As you roll up, extend out to 45. Let's try the other side here. Deep breath, big exhalation out, shoulders down. Let's try both, knees together in tabletop and exhale, let's go ahead and lift, reach those legs out nice and long, soften everything right back in again. Deep breath and release, good. So if you found that helpful, feel free to add more repetitions, but we're gonna move on here. And I'm gonna eliminate this blue spring and the entire bottom loaded is going to become a top loaded position. So safety straps gonna come off next. And I would advise you just to, just go ahead and take that safety strap and, and put it away. From here, we're gonna go ahead and have our, our actual foot straps available to us. So remember they were at the very top eyelids. So let's go ahead and lie down and we're gonna grab a hold of our straps and place our feet into them and we're going to head into our magician series here so once you have done that let's go and grab a hold of those poles behind you and make sure that you're an arm distance away so from here go ahead and slowly push into those straps elevate your hips so that you're floating and then let's go ahead and start with frogs so heels together toes apart and exhale pushing out so you're pressing out at an angle or enough to feel the resistance, but I'm sure you're gonna feel that any which way since you're already up and lifted. So once you've done anywhere from five to six there, we're gonna move it into our circles. So lots of shoulder stabilization as you're holding yourself in this position. Abs are pulled in, 
Think about squeezing through those glutes as best as you can. And once we've gone five to six, one direction, you're gonna go ahead and switch it around the other way. Beautiful. Good. Doing the best to avoid rocking or using so much momentum. Beautiful. From here, let's go ahead and take it into helicopter. So you're gonna scissor the legs, sweep them out and around, and scissor again. Good. Take it nice and slow here. And then when you're ready, we can go ahead and reverse it. Switch it around. So lots of coordination here. Take your time with it. If you're new to helicopter. Beautiful. And lower those hips down. Excellent. So glutes and hamstrings should be feeling it. Abs should be feeling it. From here, we're going to keep our knee softly bent. Arms are still holding onto the poles. We're going to float ourselves back up again. And you're just going to go into some little bit of walking, little bit of running here with our legs and lower it down. Feel free to take necessary breaks in between that magician series. And then from here, as you find your breath, we're gonna take it into airplanes. So you're gonna find your way. And as I modify this, I'm gonna go ahead and soften my knees and roll all the way back to the shoulder blades. Go ahead and pike those legs out behind you and then float your body down. So if you are able to, and it feels good for you, when you come up into airplane, think of your hips lifting higher to elevate and then lowering your body down with a plank position. Just to keep it a little bit more on the intermediate side, I didn't go through the entire airplane position. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and attach our blue spring, which is a half spring to our push through bar, top loaded. And you're gonna have a seat on the tower. You're gonna face that push through bar Knees are bent, feet are flat. Place the palms against the push through bar, but don't pull down. Now use your body to roll yourself back and let that bar just float with you. Use your body to restack your spine and allow that bar just to float back up again. So there really isn't this sense of pulling down on that bar. It's really all coming from you rolling back. So feel your abs moving in towards your spine, push down even further with your feet to restack your spine. Perfect. Shoulders are away from those ears. And then slowly returning back up to the top. Beautiful. So the further you go back, the harder it will be to restack your spine. From here, knees are together, feet together. Let your knees drift to the right, and we're gonna encourage more of an oblique exercise here. So your bo upper body is still doing the same thing. It's just lowering back, but the knees are facing to the right here. Tune into those internal, external obliques. Challenge yourself to roll back a little further. If that's too hard, Scoot your body forward. Other side, knees go ahead and look to the left-hand side and return back up again. Nice and slow. Anywhere from three to six is a good number here. Again, you're using your own body. You're not necessarily pulling on the push-through bar. And then release it. Good job. So same springs, let's go ahead and stay there. We're gonna to come to a kneeling position facing the push through bar for our cat stretch. So palms are on, nice deep breath to prepare. Go ahead and push that bar down and then roll your body down nice and slow, pressing that bar between the poles. Good, so the first one here, go ahead and just get a sense of what that feels like, but our goal is to keep your hips over your knees, your shoulders will restack over your hips. 
articulate, roll yourself down again. Feel that extension as you push through. Hold, hold, hold those hips where they're at and then re-stack up. So if you find yourself pushing your hips back or this is feeling quite easy to you, think again, think of your body shifting forward and create this heaviness. It should feel challenging. So if it's feeling easy, watch your form. Make sure your hips are not pushing back. It's a great one to track your progression on. Okay, let's just get a nice stretch here. So straddle that tower, go ahead and push that bar up. And then when you're ready, go ahead and dive it down and just get a nice low back release here. And you can do that a few times if you need to. And then from here, we're gonna move along. And I'm gonna unattach that blue spring. And then taking my uh, long arm springs, those yellow ones, which is again about a light to medium weight, handles are already connected to them. I'm gonna have a seat facing the tower unit. We're gonna go into a rowing series. So pillow up under your knees if you need to, or sit on top of a, a yoga block. And then making sure that you have enough tension, you're gonna go ahead and take it into our rowing series here. So fists are together. Take an exhale to roll back. Inhale to open the arms to a T. Exhale, dive forward, nose over knees. Push those hands behind your back. Restack your spine. Good, pull those fists in towards your chest. Open your arms to a T. Create tension as you squeeze behind your back. Circle and sweep the arms around. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and try another variation. So bicep curl here. Hinge your body back. Take an inhale and an exhale. Go ahead and push towards the ceiling. Dive your body back. And same idea, roll those arms around. Bicep curl to hinge. Inhale, hold. Exhale, reach to the sky. Dive forward, nose over knees. Squeeze those arms behind you. Circle them, sweep them around. And one more time, hinging back. Inhale, hold, exhale to reach. You wanna really apply your weight into those handles as you lift those arms up. And then release it. Good job. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and do a standing variation. So I'm going to attach my arm springs to the very top eyelet for mostly height purposes. So if you're taller, I would say above five, five, six, I would take it to the highest eyelet and anything below five, six, I would measure it towards your shoulders there. From here, we're gonna go ahead and stand about hip distance apart. Just double check that you are in the right position. Palms are up. We're gonna lunge forward and take our arms with us. And we can do one side, I'm gonna alternate my legs, but feel free if you wanna do one side, that's totally fine. But this is challenging our balance here, challenging our coordination. Good. And the flexibility, so does one foot step further out than the other one? Perfect, abs are drawn in, exhale, reach out. Nice, and reach, and reach. Good job. From this position, lean forward, take it to your hug a tree. Think of those ribs connecting once again. Squeeze those glutes if you have to, and maybe tuck that tailbone under if you're getting a little bit into your low back. But the goal here is to pitch forward so you can balance. Draw those abs in a little bit more. And then from hug a tree, take it into your salute. So hands over the eyebrows, exhale, reach where the wall and the ceiling meet. Finding your balance once again. And then focus on having equal weight distribution in your feet here as well. And rest it. Nice work. Okay, so let's go ahead and carefully step down. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and find our roll-up bar. And then putting it at the very top of those eyelids. 
making sure that's handy for you. We're gonna go into an oblique version. So we're gonna lie on our side. So lie on your left side. Let's stagger the feet. So place your bottom foot on the pole in front of you, top, top foot in the pole behind you. So holding on to the roll-up bar in the very center of it, palm is down. Let your left arm float up next to your ear as you lift, as you laterally flex here. So again, take the exhale to lift, inhale to lower down. Use your feet to help provide stability and to help create that movement. Try not to bend your right arm or whichever arm is holding on to the bar. And anywhere from five to 10 repetitions is really good. Beautiful. Carefully come to your back. And then if you can switch to the other side, go ahead and do that. Good. So feet are just switched now. Rest your ear on top of your bicep and when you're ready, exhale, flex it up. Keep pressing into that bar to help you and assist you as you lift. For more challenging parts of this exercise, you can always bring your feet up higher on the, on the poles and that will actually make this exercise a little bit harder. Good. Beautiful. Okay, so some not much needed stretching here. So grabbing hold of that bar, careful not to let go, roll yourself back up again to restack. Perfect. So hanging on, let's lower it back down as our shoulders drop away from those ears. You're gonna take your left arm off, keep holding with your right, Move your upper body to the left to really look more like a capital C here. And then your left leg over your right ankle if that feels good. If it's too much, you don't have to provide that stretch any deeper. And then taking those hands side by side to restack your spine. Let's try that again. So lower it down all the way. This time, right arm is gonna go behind you. Sweep your body to the left, right ankle over left ankle, and just breathe, really feeling the stretch there as you open up the sides of your ribs. And then when you're ready, bringing that right foot back to the pole, recenter yourself as you hold onto the bar and then roll yourself up all the way. Nicely done. We're gonna finish it off here and we're gonna grab our box. So placing our box on long ways. Find a position that works well there. And then from here, you can um, use the loops. You can use the heavy springs or you also can use your yellow springs, um, the arm springs we used just in the last exercise. So find what works better for you. You can play with that, but we're on our stomach, chest is off. Once you're ready, take a breath and think about just applying a little bit of pressure into those loops here. It's just enough to feel some activation in your back. And if we can add extension, great. You don't have to lift up into extension just enough of the pressure of the feel, the engagement of you pushing into the handles or the loops is going to be great. Our goal is to really work the entire backside of the body here. So taking the inhale to lift if you are trying to lift into extension and then exhale down. Floating on the next one, just go ahead and kick those legs behind you, focusing on that posterior chain of the body and then releasing everything here. Nice work. Let's go ahead and take our palms down. Just find one more variation here into extension. 
So it's almost like a modified push-up. But focus on those shoulders really opening up and moving down your back pockets as you lift. Carefully go ahead and come on off. Beautiful job, guys. Let's finish it with a couple roll downs. So hip distance apart, sweep those arms up, dive yourself down, just check in with your body, how it feels. Restack it up one vertebra at a time. Good. Thank you again, guys, for watching. Hope you liked it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment. We'll see you next time.